Check it out. See where we're at? Know why we're up here? Because we're getting climb gear for you. So, all right, well, somebody fix my mistake here and uh, we'll move on. The key is to fold it. What oh, where's the other one? You're be right there. Oh, shit. I'm bored in 40 minutes. <laughs> Sorry, guys. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We're up here at Climb because if you remember, last week we said somebody in the comments is gonna score some Climb gear. Yeah, it could be you. Thank Just you for commenting. Yes, thank you for commenting. Awesome comments, and I'm excited to see who actually wins. You know what surprised me the most about the comments? What? They were supportive of hands. What, they were? Usually it's like, hands is a piece of garbage. Were those blah, bots? Blah, blah. They were probably hands as bots that he hired. <laughs> In this episode, you're also gonna notice us build a truck, a beautiful truck for Climb because they're doing avalanche awareness through a company called avalanchealliance.org. They're gonna give the truck away. Well, guess what? In this episode, we also go out of town and they take the truck up to climb and we don't get to see it in. So really what I'm doing today is Checking getting a look the truck, yeah. at the truck because I hear they got a sled deck and a Titan tank on top of everything else we've had on. 40 gallons. So I say we try to get a tour in, see their awesome gear, score you some gear, see the truck, and learn about avalanche awareness. Pay attention until the end. You might get your life saved by Diesel Dave, avalanche awareness stuff. Do we have anything else we can give away? How about this? If you pay attention to this video, we're gonna talk about five things you need to be prepared for an avalanche. You comment them below. The correct five things will send you a beacon. Could save their life. Has anyone seen Dustin? Dustin! All right, so we got a good buddy from Klein. Makes all the best winter gear. Turns out he wants us to do him a solid now. We've been begging him for all this. It's weird because for years we've been asking him for stuff. Yeah. And oh, now, tons of stuff. He's hooked us up with gloves, with coats, with onesies, boots, and anything everything. whenever we want it. And he's always like, oh, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. And now he's calling a favor to build him a new truck. So we're going to go out right now. We, I don't even know. I honestly don't know like what it is. I have no idea if it's a Ford or Chevy. It could be like oh, a really? 60s. Bronco. Listen, if Dustin calls up and he says, build me a truck, you don't ask, <laughs> what, what's the truck? You say, yeah, bring it in as soon as you want. So, we're going to go out and look at it for the first time right now. We're going to see it. I think he's got a bunch of parts already in it. So, I called him when we were finding the Blackhawk. So, that I got like half the conversation. Oh. So. <laughs> he might have told you already. <laughs> oh, yeah, 100%. He's told me everything. Hey, who's this? Sailor. Say hi. Say hi to everybody. Hi. Hi, what are you going to help me with? Can you help me build a truck? Yeah. Yeah. Go party time. Like I said, I have no idea what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Might be a go kart. Oh, looks like ourselves a Ford. Listen, this is one of the coolest guys on the face of the earth. Like I said, best winter gear there is. If you need to stay warm, you should look up climb. Yes, that is a plug, but yes, it is worth it. You will love it. And I like this truck already. Yo, yo! What do you got here? Well, hopefully what's gonna be a cool getaway truck. Let's, uh, we'll unload it, we'll pull it inside, then we'll pull the parts out of the back, look what we got and all that good stuff. Does that work? Perfect. All right, listen, truck's in. Now, most important part, is figuring out what we've got, what we're dealing with here. We've never had a build come in where all the parts came with the, the build, like the truck. It's always been like, we order everything. But now, this is just a huge Christmas day for Diesel Dave and myself. We don't know what's in here. Color they're gonna be the wheels. Black guess, or chrome? guessed black. You guessed black? So I'm gonna go hot pink. Okay, whatever you say, sailor. Black box. You're close. Halfway there. You get a box and them all up really, really well. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. You wash your fingers. <laughs> you got spared. Yeah. Whoa, oh, they're white. I I you're knew it. right, Sailor. <laughs> Pull it off. No, nope, they're not white. <laughs> Pull it. Sailor. I picked them because you don't like them. You can blame me. <laughs> Ooh. These are nice. Oh, sick. Nice. What size are these? Are those cool? Uh, 20s. 20s? Hey, you like them? You Do like thumbs them. up. Yeah, we like those wheels, huh? What do we got here? 35 inch. BFG, I mean. 35 Big friendly inch. giants? Big friendly giants, my friend. Sailor, what do you think? You want to push the tire around like you did on the on the Nittos? Here, come on. Right 
Bring it on down. Ready? You know, push it to the push to the side and see how much bigger that wheel is going to turn it. Turn it. Put it right here. Right here. Oh yeah. Line it up. Now step back and take a look. You know what would fit really good inside this 35 inch BFG tire? A 20 by 9 fuel crush wheel. Whew. That's going to be smoking hot. All being supported by Ready Lift. <laughs> and if you're worried about maybe being able to haul a heavy load, we got you some extra support with Logic Airbags. <laughs> Airbags so tough, they'll haul the heaviest load. Hey man, is this the last scene? Cause I'm kind of getting tired of sitting down here. Yeah, hold on, and I'm way hungry, man. A couple way more hungry. times, come on, no. guys. A couple more, more reps. Yeah. More of air? Smoke it up. Airbags close enough to haul the heaviest load. <laughs> All right, we're done now. <laughs> All right, let's go. So yeah, so explain to us like what the plan with this truck is, because after we build it, we're giving it right back to them, and then you guys are gonna give away with it, right? Yeah, we're gonna take it around, display it. We'll take it to like some of the hill climbs and just some dealers and things like that, and put it on display so people can see it. Yeah. But the idea is a fundraiser for Avalanche Work. How many people? pass away every year locally from avalanches. So in the Rocky Mountain West, the worst year was two years ago, we had 37 deaths Holy. from avalanches. That's skiing, uh, snowmobiles, cross country, snowshoe, like that's everything. And what's the deal? People just get overconfident? I think it's it's a combination. It's some people just don't know yeah. any better. Yeah, I'm, I'm willing to bet most people don't know that they're in avalanche danger. I couldn't tell you if I was in an avalanche. Well, it's like if you're in the backcountry, in mountainous terrain, you're in avalanche country. Yeah. Like yeah. if you drive to Jackson over the Jackson Pass, you're going right over an avalanche. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So they're, they're really more common than people know. It's right. just that because we don't see it in our daily lives, we just don't realize right. where the risks are. And so we're trying to raise money so that we can kind of help snowmobilers change their mindset and understand where the risks yeah. are and get a little bit of education. It's just an awareness presentation. It's not a training per se. Yeah. Like last year we did fifty thousand dollars a year in scholarships for people to get trained. Oh really? So we give them the money that's, and then that's they what it was last year. That's what I yeah. remember. You're training people to inst instruct people on how to be safe, right? Or or just recreationalists that yeah. want to learn how to be safe. So yeah. both the pro side and also the recreational side. So in the last three years there's been hundred and fifty thousand dollars in scholarships and then there's been like another two hundred and something thousand dollars that have been donated to the forecasting centers. Mm -hmm. So like Island Park doesn't have a forecast center. This year, with the money we donated last year, this will be the first year they have a forecast center. So I can get on my phone and say, all right, oh, what's the Abbey yeah. danger? There's been a couple hundred thousand donated just to the forecast centers so that we have forecasts. Where's most of what you're gonna gather from this gonna go to this year? Is it going to scholarships again or is it going we'll to split forecasting? It. We'll split it, yeah. We'll cool. probably do like a 50-50 split. You know, How many years have you done this? This is a real year ago. That's an awesome program. The oh, response no has been awesome. And, and, and the cool thing is like, you know how industries are, like they get competitive, Skidoo is competitive with Polaris or whatever, you know, us and Fly, and just Skidoo got on board, Polaris got on board, Fly got on board. So yeah. all these competitive companies are getting on board, donating products. It's just kind of turning into for one like, big For like, other people to win stuff too, so there's a lot more winners than just one person winning the truck. Yeah. On the lift, already ran into the first issue. Not a major issue, an issue that Dave nor myself can fix at the moment, so. Lift wheels and tires, that's easy. Airbags, easy. However, normally what people do is they'll take like your spare tire out and they'll put the mount in there for compressors and tanks, train horns, whatever it may be. Like one of the reasons we take spare tires out to put tanks and stuff like that in there is because we're running like a 40 inch tire and you don't need a whatever size this is, a stock four tire size. So. The biggest situation is, I see some places to put a compressor and tank. I mean, if you look up in here, some room there, but doesn't look great. Migo! Iram. Iram will be my secret weapon with this situation. Also, Diesel Dave already left. We shot tons of sexy scenes. Then he had to go get his kids, so it's now just, just me at the moment. 
Let's see if I can do this in Spanish. ¿Qué pasó? El compressor, el tanco. Sí. Taco? El taco. We need to figure out where to put the tank and compressor because the, the white dually, where'd you put it? You put it, yeah, here inside. But inside it was a, because it was a dually and so it, there it was, was room? It was a dually and actually longer bed. Another. So short bed, single, single rear wheel, what are we gonna do? I don't know, amigo. Let's find a spot for that. Here, you go ahead and take this. this yeah. You can't go to the bedside though. Is that what you did on the other one? I mean, I mounted, I mounted in the bed, but inside the bedside. Right. What about right here? Or is that... Oh wait, hold on, no, because that's where the hitch would go. Yeah, so, there's one spot right here. Plenty of real estate, however, that's where your gooseneck would go. We're not going to put one in at the moment because Climb is actually putting in an aftermarket sled deck in it. So, they're not really able to use a gooseneck anyway. So, that's not happening. That area won't happen. It depends on the, on the size of the tank that we are getting, amigo. We can get a, an air tank that fits there. Like five gallon? Like five, yeah, five gallon. Do we have a five gallon right here? We don't have a five gallon right here. Come on, there's gotta be one here. Do we have a compressor here? Do we have a five gallon tank? Do we have the compressor over here already? Uh, and then this is the gauge. Plan with the gauge. If you're on this inside, dump your bags, fill your bags, all that good stuff. So, two different kind of kits out there. Well, two different styles that we run into. This style, you have the same valve stem. It's like your car tire, okay? What people do is they mount these right here in your license plate bolt, okay? So they'll take out that bolt and it'll be replaced with this. And then you just go to your compressor, gas station, whatever. You wanna fill the bags, plug it in, boom, bags get filled. It's one way to do it. That's like the cheap, easy way to do it. We would rather run a compressor and a tank. Don't worry about this. We'll run a compressor and tank that way. If you're driving down the road, you want to fill it, you can fill it. Plan is not use these. We'll plumb it in inside the cab to this compressor. That compressor will fill the tanks. So the situation though is not only do you have to find real estate for this bad boy, but we got to find real estate for the tank. The tank's the hard part. Five gallon tank is roughly what we want to run. Five gallons gives you enough air on board. You'll fit there, amigo. Fit where? At the same spot that where we put it on the dually. It's a it's on a smaller tank, so it will fit perfect there. Is it a five gallon tank? No, it's a 1.5. Just for the airbags, you know, it's enough for the airbags. How many gallons does it take to fill those? You think? That's the ready oh, yeah, list. Those are big. Those are, those are like baby. big. No, like baby ones. If I get an air hose and I shove this in here, and I get a compressor, while well, you see? figure out the math. Uh huh. Uh oh. Well, that's stuck. So. That's good. I wonder how, uh, yeah, right, with your mouth. Whoa! Because <laughs> I've never smoked. There you go. I loosened it up. I smoke every day. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Dude. That was like. Really? <laughs> it doesn't oh, take yeah. much air. Yeah. I'm gathering. So, yeah, 1.4 gallons. Will be enough. Or <laughs> or Ron, can you go get us a new? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, so all right. Well, somebody fix my mistake here, and uh, we'll move on. The key is to fold it. What are well, you? Where's the other one? Well, how are you gonna look at it? It's folded inside itself. I'm just saying. Well, you gotta like. All right, hold this one. Hey, you got it. Look hold that. that one. Look, <laughs> if you guys are at home and you're gonna install these on your own, you don't need to do this. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. All right. Oh, okay. There simple, simple. See, like Looks nothing like that, happened. Yeah. All right, so you think it's gonna fit there. We need a tank, Ron. You should have a tank here tomorrow, today, whatever. Can we build that bracket now? You think it's the same everything? No, we'll put it out, the same. Not the same? No, it's different tank. We'll be the air compressor here, and I will put the tank here, which is 13 inches long. We got room So enough. everything's mounting to the bed, not to the side of the bed, though. Yeah, it's mounted to the bed. Yeah. To the, to the, the bottom. Bed, to the bed frame. Yeah. Can't build it right now. We gotta wait till we get the tank. Yeah, I gotta wait for a time, so. Can you find a tank, get it here today or tomorrow, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna be done with this tomorrow. Okay. I'm gonna take off the wheels and tires right now. Okay. I'm gonna take them up to get pressure sensor, tire sensors out, put in the new wheels, and then. We can start installing the backs and the, you know, all the wiring for the, for the, yeah. for the tank and just wait for that bracket, you know? We can do everything here, so, and just wait until everything the tank show up and. Build the, the bracket a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna take the wheels and tires off then. Here's the situation, guys. 
because I don't necessarily have a toolbox here, I walk to said project. I grab the first impact I find, make sure she's fully, fully got a uh, charge. And then I just start using their tools. <laughs> Fastest time. Pretty fast, amigo. I guess I should lower it. Can you lower it, amigo? That's good, amigo. You know these are actually pants I wear to church? Holy shiz, they put these on there tight. Ay, ay, ay. I'm gonna see how fast I can take this off with this gun. Right here, or here, or here, or here, is gonna be how many times I can do it on NASCAR. Ready, set, go. Was that good or? Dead NASCARs. <laughs> I hope not. Migo, yeah. listen man, wanna help me take this Fernando apart or? Do you want me here? Teach me your Latino ways. Okay, cortar. Seis. I think he wants a quarter. Yeah. Is that quarter. a three cortar? Cortar. 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 Corta. Thank you. Just wanna grab all those uh, suspension pieces and bring them over here. All right, Amigo, what do you need me to do? Truck is brand new. Literally okay. has 5.5 miles on it. We need to do. We need some jack stands, tall ones. Are these the ones? Yeah, those are the ones. Migo, yes. Teach me Spanish to do this, okay? Do you really want to learn Spanish? I need to. You need to. It's Why? long because it's been like seven years or eight years since I've been here, uh -huh. and I don't think I could tell you anything in Spanish. Tell me your word. Travieso, Papa Chulo, which is Pimp Daddy. In Spanish class, we had picked names, and that was my name was Papa Chulo. Are you a Papa Chulo? Back in my prime. Back in your prime? It's not right now? No. <laughs> no, I'm married, man. Yeah, I will teach him, amigo. Okay. I'm gonna so, go grab the rest of the parts. I will just teach him. Not the, not the right way. I will teach him, and I think. He always, he, he always thinks that he speaks Spanish. He always. What do you want first? Or we okay. have to take it apart first. We gotta lose, we gotta lose the shocks. Yeah. We gotta lose the soy bar. And the truck bar. What size you want? Big. That's not a real size, but okay. Grande. It's three quarter. Let's try with three quarter. Which one's oh, first? 18. 18. Bingo! Como se dice ratchet in espanol? Actually, we, we, we call the same ratchet. Oh, can, cool. The no, one time I tried to learn you, Spanish, it's the exact no, same word as no, it is English. Can, can, Shocker. You can say matraca. Matraca? That means ratchet? Yeah, that means ratchet. Okay. Yes. Spanish stuff's simple. Yeah, it is simple. What else? This this whole bar come down? Because is there a space no, right we here? Need to, we need to take this, the, the other one off from there. The other side? Yeah, the other side. Is it just, we don't, is there no spacers for these? It's just. We need to take it off either way. Doug, no, yeah, we have spacer for that. No, we'll make this the, really fast. the whole thing has to come down? Yeah. I know it would be easier. If I leave? Yeah. It's not happening, Doug. Not this time, man. <laughs> this one time, man. I want to, I just want to be a part of the team. How do you say, como se dice team in espanol? Se dice amigos. That's, I knew that one already. This is a size 15. Oh my. Is that 15? Yeah, it's 15, man. Tried that 15 size like six times, I swear. My whole objective here is to earn everybody's respect and let me be part of the, the team. Just want to be part of one of the Amigos. Higher pressure sensors. Yeah. Make sure they grab those. Yeah, just tell them tomorrow morning is fine. But we just say, just say. Definitely need them by like tomorrow afternoon. I'm gonna be fluent in Spanish in no time. Listen, man, you don't need freaking impacts when you're as strong as I am, amigo. Are you strong? Yeah. How do you say strong in Spanish? Uh, embarazado. Embarazado? Yeah. Yeah, you're super strong. Embarazado? Yeah, you are super strong. That's hey, amigo. It is muy embarazado. Me? Embarazado. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Strong, amigo. <laughs> strong. Congrats. Congratulations to be stronger. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, what does that mean? That's like, good, I wasn't strong and now I am strong? <laughs> Oh my gatos! Picasso! Watch your head. Jeez. I told you. Hi, yi, yi. Are you tired already, me? You guys do this every day? Every day. Jeez. No wonder when you guys take your shirts off, you look so embarazado. Yeah, my <laughs> wife is proud of me. <laughs> His wife is proud of me, he says. <laughs> uh, this is just gonna fall on my head, so if you wanna grab it, amigo, I'd really appreciate it. Why are you not using an impact driver? <laughs> you don't get embarrassed by not doing this. Yeah, but now you're asking for help. See? Simple. Hey, explain to the people the objective of this right here. Mm -hmm. 
Explain to him what does the truck and why we got to put these on there. We got to put this here because uh, once we are lifting the truck two and a half inches, you know, all the components of the suspension kind of stretch. So like what's the objective of this right now on the truck? It sits up here and it's and its whole purpose and role is what? To keep the steering aligned? No, no it's not it's not for the steering. It's uh, I mean it's for it's for the swipe bar, it's yeah. for the stabilizer of the truck. Yeah. So you got your linkage here. Once you like you lift your truck, you, you change the angle on your yeah, on your right. on your on your link kits. When you are traveling your truck, you know, when you are you are yeah. flexing your truck, yeah. You change the angle there and that and that all the components are still rubbing with another part. So these spacers, in a sense, go in here to keep it because you're bringing the whole frame of the truck up higher. So this has got to be the middle ground to help it flex. And got it. All right, science. Yeah. Let me just let me just read the instructions, amigo. Who I've known one thing man? about being a mechanic. It's the importance you need of instructions. instructions when you when you do it once a year or once a, every two years. Oh. You don't need instructions if, you're, if you are doing this every day. Oh, I noticed you didn't remove the brake line yet. That was the first thing they asked you to do. Let me check. Hands can read, guys. Yeah. We could get this done a lot quicker if we formed a type of assembly. This is a run the clock out situation till everyone loses their patience with me and they make me get out of their way and they do it themselves. I was trying to get you out of my way, too. There we go. Como se dice reading in Spanish, then? Reading in Spanish? Yeah. Jugando. Jugando. Yeah. Jugando sounds more like just threw up, but. Would you trust on me or not? I trust you. I trust on you. Support the axle. Done. Shocks. Well, amigo, I guess that's the next step, huh? What did I tell you like two minutes ago? You gotta lose the shocks. Hey, I don't need your attitude right now. Huh? What size do you need? I'll give you the tools. 18. 18? That's an 18. Amigo, Chris. Hey. Embarazado. <laughs> Hey, look out, amigo. Okay. Oh, chingon. Let me show you guys. New, old. There you go. There's side by side comparison. Do you want to set these in right now? Yes, sir. Oh, now he's. The bump stop. Wait for what? <laughs> you gotta find the way where he sits. Gotta lock in or not lock in, but set in there. That one's twisted and shot of the right way. Keep going. Easy, easy money. You're good there. It's so simple. It's like that, hands. I could do this in my sleep, man. Shock do you really need instructions for this? Now you just gotta reverse it. Huh? You're done. Do I really need instructions, please? Huh? Nigo, I know how to, I know how to do this. <laughs> Frontwards, forwards, the backwards, upside down in my sleep. Whatever, dude. Just tell me what you want to do next, because okay. I'm not quite you sure. Can, you can saw the shocks now. Oh, okay. Are these all the same? You can tell they're fronts by the way they are. Top first, and then you can compress it and put the bottom in. Yeah. Falcon shocks, my friends. I don't know if there's enough threads to get it started. Push it. Well, it's threaded through. Oh, but I'll the nuts all the way through. But I don't know how how uh -huh. tight are you supposed to go. This time. But it doesn't reach down here. But that's just because it's pressed all the way up, right? Child's play. I feel like these shocks are a fairly important part. Who? Today. I feel like I should be tightening those to some sort of spec. Bumper? Angle? Yes or no? Amigo, what do you listen to? Like your music of choice? Is it Latino music? Is it Rihanna? I noticed that you just dropped the bolt I was holding. Oh yeah, that was my fault. But where did it go? Yeah. What do I listen? Everything, amigo. Huh? Hey, do you have a fishing line I could take this these emblems off with? Not that I'm tired of this already. Will you focus? <laughs> huh? 
Oh, it's my phone ringing. Hello. Reno, teach him how to do this. Okay, turn it. We're right there. Oh, I gotta go to Arizona. Where's my phone? Right now? You're, be right there? Oh, shit. I bored in 40 minutes. <laughs> you saw the sparks just bolt. Did you? Now we can have a professional do it. You can got we know. <laughs> you got it, bro. All right, can we know? Move it out. Show us how, you want us to just do this one first? You don't want to get too close? We better get close. It's getting warm, Camino. It's definitely warm enough. Be careful. Oh, it's bad. Come on, keep going. So you heat it up, fry it off, and then you use the eraser wheel to okay. get off the gunk. Easy peasy. What else we got today? What are you doing? The airline? Yeah. You're running the airline to where? So I connect both bags to each other. And we're on a separate line that'll go into the tank. And the tank will be right here. Yes. Tank and compressor. Tank and compressor right here. Mm -hmm. Then you run. It runs a line. Line to your compressor. And then line up through to your switch. And then that'll send your pressure back to your bags. Got it, Cole? No. Check it out. See where we're at? Know why we're up here? Because we're getting climb gear for you. Last week on the vlog up at the cabin, they not only ruined my helmet, but they completely destroyed it. Hold on, that was your helmet they got ran over? Yeah. The orange one? Yeah. I watched Dave run it over. Yeah. yeah. My helmet that I've used twice. So Dave owes me a new helmet. So we're not only going to get gear for you guys, but I'm going to put a helmet on Dave's tab. Hi, I'm Dave. <laughs> Today is on my tab. <laughs> you snuck in. We did. We're very good to see you. Good to see Glad you. Glad to have you. you. I'm Dustin. Yeah, nice to meet you. I'm Cole. <laughs> I want to let you know. I, I got bring you growing gear. up when you guys came out. My name starts with a K, so I just wanted your gear so bad. The funny thing is, is how many people think like all the rumors about how climb started. Yeah. Like what milk backwards and like all kinds of funny. Oh. Things that we hear. <laughs> that makes sense. Milk right, didn't he? No, that <laughs> makes sense. The milk can was in front of the mirror. And right. Like, oh, there it is. <laughs> That's genius. <laughs> so when Justin founded the company, he went through marketing business. That was his degree, right? Mm -hmm. And he had read a book, or they went through a class or something where they talked about four letter words that have kind of a distinct, unique look. So he picked something that was relative to snowmobiling. So like hill climbing, yeah. right? Like that was kind of the big thing back in like yeah. the nine, late 90s. It's still cool. Yeah, well, right. Still sure. cool. Now we treat it a lot more, but. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So then he just kind of changed the logo up, the spelling with the K, Genius. and made it unique. Worked pretty good. <laughs> I've been drinking all this milk for years right? for no reason. <laughs> Backwards. Well, I thought I was supporting <laughs> But you're healthy. Hey, for those of you who don't know, this is Dustin. Dustin is, I call him top dog here at Climb. What is your official title here? Uh, I ride top sleds. Dog? I don't know. <laughs> I ride, <laughs> no, I ride not top dog. <laughs> top dog. Right. He's, he's got the best job in the world. <laughs> I'm a snow marketing manager, yeah. athlete manager. Which is why we're talking to Dustin, because one of you wants some gear. So I hear we're going to give some gear away. That's right. I'm excited That's for that. Goal. That's awesome. So Dustin's your new best friend. This is Paul and Colin. Yeah, we met. Good to see you, man. How's it going? Thanks for visiting. Good to see you. Even got a hat and a shirt and all something. Really? Don't have a free truck, but. That's what we're working on. Yeah. Well, actually, that's what you guys are working on up here. Yeah, you guys are helping. You guys are a big yeah. part of that. Honestly. How do you get entered to win that truck? So you, you buy stuff from Diesel Brothers. That's how you win it. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> no, not <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's like, why am I not entered to win this truck? <laughs> but uh, honestly, Seriously, I'm asking. Seriously, win what? the truck? Yeah, so avalanchealliance.org. You want to get a sneak peek of what you could win if you go to avalanchealliance.org? So... Since you guys are doing it to raise awareness on how to survive an avalanche, basically. Say me, I'm up in the mountains, snowmobiling, I don't have any gear. What's the one thing that should be in my mind to survive an avalanche if I get stuck? If I don't have the avalanche protection gear? Uh, I would back up and say you shouldn't be there. Okay, and then what's the one piece of gear that I should have then? A transceiver. Transceiver Trans avalanche beacon, number Good. one. We'll talk about that a little bit more because there's actually five things you really need to have. Yeah. So transceiver, probe, shovel, Abby bag yeah. and a radio. Last year they had a slide come down on them. They had a group in a in ravine. 
and he was able to get on the radio and say, hey guys, Avalanche, pull your bags, and everybody pulled their bags and everybody walked away. Wow. That's so now we like, the importance of a radio was like yeah. huge. Yeah. We expanded this part of the building about five years ago, so this used to be the edge of the building right here. Okay, so here's the deal. I can take you upstairs and show you the new showroom, but it's all next year's gear, so we can't video it. Okay. Sorry, yeah. guys. Dude, that was some of the sickest gear I've ever seen. Yeah, the new stuff next year, I'm gonna have to buy. I'm gonna have to get that stuff. I'm gonna say, you're gonna wanna see what's coming out next year, because it's top notch. And that's like, whatever's above top notch. They made a new notch. And there's it's on the more. ceiling. There's yeah. tons of gear. It's like when you lose a bunch of weight and you have to make another notch in your belt. That's where they're at. And there's so many more options. So every one of these is an add -on. So like the that, building used to end there and then it ended here and then it ended there and we just keep pushing that way and now they actually they just started adding another two bays I was gonna on. say, you probably got another one coming. So this is one of the coolest rooms in all of the climb building in my opinion. It's like, I call it the R&D room. They, they put all the gear in here. If something gets broke, ripped, torn, smashed, they put it in here, they fix it, they repair it. And they also do like a study on how to make it better, how to improve the quality of their gear, right? We have a pretty cool program. We call it crash protection program. Crash protection. So if somebody crashes in a piece of our motorcycle gear and it's less than five years old, if they get a police report, because we need to know all the, you know, the conditions, they send it to us, we'll replace their gear for free. And the cool thing is the police report like gives you speed, what the angle was, you know, like, okay, was it a left side? Was it a right side? How mm -hmm. far did they skid? All that stuff. We've had three or 400 pieces of gear come back now mm -hmm. that we can evaluate and see, did it burn through? Did it protect the way it was supposed to? Was the armor in the right spot? You know, it was the seam okay? And from that, we've been able to make little changes to the yeah. gear. Just, why just fine tune it. Better yeah. and better. Yep. There's some specialty equipment in here that we use for repair. We can test gear to like see if it leaks. And oh yep, sure enough, there's a leak right there. Since our stuff has a lifetime guarantee, if the product's still in good shape, we replace it. What's the, uh, you've got one suit on your website that says it's stronger than steel. Oh, Vectron. Vectron, yeah. Yeah, I can show you the stuff upstairs if you yeah, want to see I it. Yeah, I want to see Should it. we go up and look at Vectron? Let's go see it. All right, we can do that. Perfect. We'll learn about Vectron. Oh, sure. Look, these guys are the experts. Let's do the cut test. Make it better, we gotta break it, right? Yeah. So Vectron, we talk about it's stronger than steel. Okay. So pound for pound. Yeah. So you think about, oh, it can't be you know stronger than a plate of steel. Well, of course not. It's not. Yeah. But it doesn't weigh pound it, for no. pound. If you had steel, it was this thickness or you know the same weight. Yeah. Vectron is stronger. So we're gonna see how tough you guys are. We're gonna do a tear test. And this is like the latest and greatest for us, right? Like there's a lot of years of development going into this. Yeah. This is one of the things I think the biggest things that sets us apart from any other company is we don't use any off the shelf materials. Yes. I believe this fabric took Evan like three or four years, four years to, develop. to develop. Yeah. You seem like a nice young, strong young pup. <laughs> why, don't you give, why don't you give that a tear? Like give it a no, tear? No pressure. If you can give that a nice tear. No pressure. Do a tear ski? Yeah, you can do it. Come on, man. Yeah. I love this game. Dude, that's the, 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 you're awesome. white knuckling it. Dude, that is awesome. Two 250 pound dudes pulling on that. It's soft. Yeah. It's lightweight. As light as a feather and as hard as dragon scales. Every time we like we make an improvement, the idea is like lighter, stronger, faster, soft. You know, mm -hmm. make the experience better. Well, imagine how much you can pull and I can pull. Oh, that had to be at least that, 400 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. Each. No, Give let's us still another there. try. Give us another try. We got. Go for it. Here, we'll, let's, let's do this. Let's do this. We'll let you cheat just a little bit. Really? It's even <laughs> hard to cut. Yeah. All right. This There's a, that's cutting. a little bit more. What side do you want? Here. Take, you take a long. He cut it down to here. Yeah. Okay, so here, check <laughs> this out. It was more cut than it wasn't. <laughs> this is cool. Check this out. So that white, see that white? Yeah. That's the that's the Gore-Tex membrane that keeps it waterproof. That's the actual Gore-Tex membrane. Cool. So it's laminated, it's all kind of like welded. Yeah. So now you can see like there's a face fabric and then there's the white, which is the Gore-Tex membrane. And then this is like a protective backer. Awesome. Right? So that's why it's breathable because of the Gore-Tex. Sweet, so I know all right. Getting, I know what I'm getting this summer then. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, Thanks, Trent. Thank you very much. Man. Enjoy, guys. We kind of barged Thank in you. on you, no warning. Yeah. It Surprise. happens a lot. <laughs> right? <laughs> from me. Way <Wait>, prepared. <laughs> yeah. So they went from making the gear so they know what that takes, yeah. and then they go into becoming these fabric specialists. And um, Evan, he's the guy that was there. He's a he's a pro racer. Oh, is he really? So he rides. He develops. So he knows what he means. He, yeah, he, like, the, I mean, he 
he's like the perfect combination of everything that's yeah. going to make the fabric as good perfect possible. You can go right in it. Thanks for the tour. We yeah. got a lot of comments here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll through it and give away this climb gear that we have. What can we give away? Yeah. Well, let's do, uh, we didn't really talk about that, did we? No. Yeah, I was expecting Let's put you on the spot. Like, that's okay. <laughs> let's do a one piece. A one, one piece? piece. Uh, everybody likes one pieces. Well, most people like one pieces, I think. That's like the You're going all in. The one piece, like you see in our videos, awesome. They're awesome. Okay, right, here we go. Gonna do it. Wait, you're going to scroll it and he's going to say stop? Yeah. Give and me a couple seconds to get, you know, some randomness in there. And, and I'm going to scream You like got to get prepared. Oh, you're doing it already. Stop. Uh -oh. Skull O F1. You just got some climb gear! <laughs> Wait, Ooh, he even wants could bibs. really use some climb do bibs. Bib? Do you want bibs or do you want a onesie? Nice, congrats. That's yeah. awesome. There you have it, Skull what? Skull F1. Yeah, Skull F1. Yeah. You know what? Been a great day. We got to come, come up to climb. We got the official tour. We scored some gear for Skull F1. And we got to see the giveaway truck. So what you need to do now is obviously make more comments because we're going to give away more stuff and you could win. And you need to go to avalanchealliance.org. Click the button that says win a truck and go win a truck and learn how to stay safe in an avalanche. I think that's the most important thing. What were those five things again? Beacon, probe, shovel, bag, lucky talkie. So Make be prepared. For stay safe. Go get entered. Stay there safe. There you go. All right, buddy. Well, thanks, thanks for the support. Appreciate, Appreciate you buddy. guys. Yeah. Good to see you. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Travel safe. Yes. We'll see you.